away. The Bible called him the son of partition. If you can be replaceable in God, you are not part of the plan before. Eleven men stayed with Jesus. They ate with him. Slept beside him. I'm sure they wore his clothes. Peter must have worn his singlet one day. Wore his robe and attire. They checked together. I am sure Jesus Christ will have said, let's go and buy. At the time he sent eleven people to go and buy food for one person. He didn't hide these things from them. We should know this person more. But a young man rose someday, Apostle Paul. And when he came, he began to teach these 11 people what it means, the apostolic. He wasn't there. Do you know what it means for a man that wasn't mentored? Come and be teaching you about your mentor. He will stoop Peter. You will call it rebellion. That is what religion call it. They say that guy is rebellious. Uh -uh. Spiritual man knows he's the fellowship with the mystery. Something is pushing this guy. Something wants to talk through him. You are not giving it the chance. Apostle Paul was there all his life. When Peter, up, remember Jesus Christ didn't run a ministry on earth. He ran missions. Jesus Christ was not a Christian. He followed the Pharisaic order. He was always in the temple with the leaders, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Jesus self was religious because for you to catch a thief, you must become a thief. All through those times, Peter was not born again. While they were disciples, they were, they were Jews. When Jesus Christ allowed a prostitute to wash his feet, they thought he was seducing him. He was trying to break them off religion. Peter was like, ah, don't let them catch us with this thing now. You will spoil market for us. A woman broke his alabaster box. He said, come on, we are wasting money now. This thing is mean. A, a mere is important in the holy of holies. Don't waste it in the public. Jesus was there trying to change the mindset. Paul was always working against him, remember all these times. But the man fellowship with this mystery. And when he came, he looked at Peter and withstood him. He said, no, this is not what Christ was trying to do. There was a mystery I saw. You didn't understand it. Let me teach you. Paul came one day and began to say, 
he said i am like a i have laid the foundation let anyone that will build on this foundation be a wise what who should say build the foundation was it not peter they said i will give to you the keys of the church and the gates of hell will not prevail why will somebody not give him the keys be the one opening the door somebody fellowships in his fear somebody fellowship in his destiny for religion as a man of god and he became the authentic person Apostle Paul looked at the clergy and said, Tell that fox, I'll be here for two or three more days. When I'm done, it can now come. It doesn't take audacity, it takes a fellowship with this thing. If you say it out of bone face, they will kill you. You will die the next day. What did this man know? He came and if not for Paul, you will have thought you're a second class citizen in God. Israel is my firstborn. Peter was still repeating that. But the Bible said Christ became the first because of the dead. The dead, the class of people that carry God. So Israel is no more the firstborn. Christ is our firstborn. So we look like him. Why didn't Peter not know these things? He wanted them to still wash their feet. Ablution, you will call it. Paul said, ah, no, 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 don't bring these things here. <laughs> we have been redeemed by a blood. You don't understand. What kind of man that didn't sit down with Jesus and understood the whole thing as if he learned it? Because he had an encounter and fellowship with that system. Paul, Paul, persecutest thou me. He called him Lord. Something had happened in ages. It is a hidden wisdom. They only showed you the beginning. You, uh, you didn't know what transpired to bet the beginning. So when Paul stood before a congregation, he said, Listen carefully, people. There is a fellowship of the mystery I have. When I talk before you, I'm not bold. I'm communicating a mystery. But there is a dimension called the mystery that I fellowship with that begs these results. You'll have thought Paul was rude until you find yourself in this category too. A man can become invaluable in God because you become a system of resource where God deposits things. There are men like that. That is why Dangote keeps on prospering. I don't know the side of the, of, of the spirit where he fraternizes with. That is not my business. But why is he the only one bringing the invention? The rich become richer because only the rich remains in this euphoria. The poor only work for these things because all men seek him. Are you listening to me now? If you can bring one of these things, you will say money is not a problem. You will see men with money come to you. How can we be part of this? You tell them no. It's solely for the body of Christ. Do you want to be poor? I cannot be poor. I can't. My seeds are my source of dominion. The Bible said, He that speaketh in an unknown tongues, because you want to know unknown things, edify it himself to know those things. That after you have edified yourself, you shall rise. Many of you, after you have prayed in the spirit, you now go to sleep. You thought you have finished. Uh -uh. That's when the work began. That is the sacrifice you don't want to pay. After you have prayed in the spirit and there's an exhilaration, then there is now a fellowship. It's true. It's very true. It's very true. These things are caught. They are not taught. Nobody teaches you. It just comes. Bah! Start an innovation that will eradicate machines and empower men back. Then you have to begin. What will I do? It begins to tell you artificial intelligence. You think the Holy Spirit don't know these things? It begins to tell you machine intelligence. And you are learning it. What does this thing mean? It gives you an anchor scripture. What is man that I was mindful of him? If machines want to displace man, God is sending me to empower men to displace machines. It's such a crazy world. It's a realm. It's a realm. Pastors don't do this thing I'm saying. There is a realm yonder. See a light. You must, you must believe this truth under heaven. Fellowship with what? You can go to school and have a PhD. You will employ as Dangote's driver. It's not a course. Every year he employs over 200. Be, be, imagine for driver, PhD. A man, because he's mysterious, he's displacing education. Here comes a young boy that have sold himself out and say, Lord, who oh, I on this thing out? I've come to prove in my life that people can rise, irrespective of their family issues, irrespective of their background, irrespective of how they start. That's what I've come to do on it. That a man can start with nothing. And you look at him and he will tell you, I will tell you my story some years to come. You will say it's a lie. That's how they used to lie. But it's the fellowship of the mystery. I don't want to be the only one that will rise. And you look at me one day and throw stones at me because you thought I lied to you. It is the fellowship of every life. It is God's system of hiding people. Are you listening to me? Moses was hid that way. Can you imagine waking up and the person you thought was your nurse was your mother? Do you know he's a pain? 
for a mother to give birth to a child. They said they will kill all children. This music began to play. They placed the child in a basket and flown him to the palace where they will kill him. And they got there and paid for his atinata whatever care. And they now took this mother, this boy, back to his mother. Do you think it just happened by luck? God is hiding someone. You are saying, what kind of a life is this? God is like, it's my system to hide you. So that when you appear, so somebody was chatting me up and he said he wanted to meet the G of Covenant of Life. And I looked and I laughed. If that guy ever sees me, he will never believe head to down. He will just be saying, no, I mean your G. The fellowship of the mystery is a system of God to hide men. You can't believe a body like this can sound what you are saying. Is that true? It is a system. Principalities and power will come to learn. Ah, ah. We thought this guy's life was destroyed. When he got to the epicenter of Egypt, where he should be killed, he was given a scholarship. Right in the palace where we fight, he was trained there. So that if at all anything happens, any day, he knows the exit and knows the entry. There is no place where anybody wants to. He was to eat. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? God takes a man in the epicenter of where he will be destroyed and he wants to train him there. The fellowship of the mystery. And one day that man came and rebelled and said, I, I want to save my people. And he said, You? He said, Yes. Who sent you? He said, I am. When did you meet I am? I have been fellowshipping with the mystery right in Egypt, in the wrong place, right in poverty. I was fellowshipping with the mystery. Don't ask me when did I fellowship. It is spiritual, the fellowship. When I speak now, I'm speaking a mystery. If you have ever looked at your life and you wanted to cry, I'm happy for you. I have a very good news for you. God is in the epicenter of it. When everything in your life can be explained by you, it was you that was leading yourself. God was not involved. When you look at your life and you can't explain everything totally, then God is the one leading you. It's called the fellowship. It's God's system to hide you until he can reveal you not to the world that the heavenly authorities, like, you know, they are the ones supervising. He said, eyes have not seen. If eyes have not seen, your generation should not have been seen before. Joseph was, a, was, a, was an example of this situation too. He rose upon them and told his father, I, I see 11 stars. The sun and the moon, they were bowing to me. The father was like, Joseph. A carnal man interpreted that thing. But that was God. The fellowship of the mystery began. The 11 stars and him meant 12. It is a system of government. God was going to deploy a man to the sphere of government and politics. And he began a training somewhere, eating from a boy. You are going to advise the whole of Egypt. Egypt was the epicenter of power in those days. You are going to stand out there and talk to Pharaoh. You, do you know who Pharaoh is? Have you seen the pyramids of Egypt before? They were built by giants, not men. Egypt was the US of that generation. That a young boy one day will stand before him and say, sir, this is how we are going to do it. Without being trained in Harvard Business School. He didn't study political science. That's how much more God wants to do with your life. Then the father misconceived the vision and said, this boy, bow before. the brother said, see, let's kill him. We will bow before you. The way you are interpreting your vision is your limitation of physicalities. There is something deeper God is doing. You are fellowshipping with something it's because you don't understand. So you are not participating. That's why you are having rising and falling and rising and falling. If you understand, your life will become steady. That you know all things work together for good. For those that what are called according to his purpose and love him. Love. Participate. Koinonia. Then one day Joseph was sold by the Ishmaelites to Egypt. Remember the Bible said go on to the man that goes to Egypt for what? For help. Joseph didn't go to Egypt for help. Joseph went to Egypt to go and fellowship with the mystery. And when he got to Egypt, you know what happened? Before you knew it, the Herod was in Potiphar's house first. He started his life gradually. Then Potiphar's wife liked him up. You know the stories now? He found himself in the prison. Right in the prison, he began to interpret dreams and visions. Blah, 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 blah. Everything happened. While he was in that place, how will a man be in prison and the Spirit of God will still be tutoring you on the interpreting dreams? There was still a constant fellowship, a participation. I'm trying to open your eyes of understanding to something today. Your situation should never stop you. Your pursuit of God is not to become a pastor. It's for you to become an institution that the whole earth will come and learn of. You must die empty. You 
See, when you die, an average CLH must be studied by whatever institution. Wizards must study you. How come a boy will rise from Matogun and the whole world will stand still because he's talking? A revelation of the mystery. And this boy Egypt stood one day. The king had a dream and he was like, I can interpret it. If you ever dreamt that you saw your wife leave you, you know the Bible will not capture things that are not in line with what is trying to write. Joseph was so interested. If you say, I dreamt that my first wife left, that was your problem. But whenever you, you dream about politics and governance, that anointing from the fellowship comes upon him. And when he comes, he begins to tell you the future of not, not your life, a country. <sighs> you can tell how far you will go by the preparation you see in your life. What you call delay is not delay, it's a training. God is saying, stay, fellowship with this thing. When you talk, what you should admit is a mystery. The Bible said, even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered what? As a wise. That means silence as a voice. A fool is no more talking and they are saying he's wise. So that means this wisdom doesn't talk. While you are going through this process, you will never hear God's voice. God, I, am I fine? What is the next thing to do? Should I pick jam from? That that silence is golden. God is waiting to see the resultant effect of your fellowship. But somebody will come and say, Papa, you have to pray for me. My life has scattered. I've come to tell is that scattering that makes it better? Because right in the epicenter of that scattering, you are going to find yourself, find that secret, enroll into that school. Become, are you following me at all now? And when you talk, people that go there can relate that you are communicating the mystery. That's what calls great men. It's not CV. Your agenda in life is to make sure that principalities, powers, demons, they come to study you. And an individual is a speaking of God to be experienced. A hidden wisdom that was fragmented in God. That your speaking should begin to cause problem before you even die. But, but, but why are, are you not tired of living helplessly and powerlessly? Elijah taught you this thing too. Elijah stood up one of those days. Elijah was walking through the farm of his father. Is that true? And implicated him by whatever thing. And this guy, he wasn't a prophet, don't forget. There was a school of prophets. They were born prophets. Do you know what it means to enroll in the school of the prophets? And Matthias do good. I hope you know. You must have been seen visions. You only need to set yourself and maybe stay under fatherhood. Am I saying the truth now? There was a, a legitimate class of prophets that Elijah was responsible for. They had these three types of fellowship. Every time Elijah was on the mountain, eh, that was a fellowship with God. Intimacy with the Spirit. Is that true? The people who gather in the classroom of the prophet too, they will say, let's hold hands. The veil has been torn. That's what the generation will tell you. Radaga bagada bagada bagada. They say, eh, eh, how do you say those things? Is not given to any man again. You know, all of us can now access. All of us can enter. And your folly will push you and you people hold yourself. Then someone begins to do like this and you are happy about it and say, fire, fire. The same way they were doing too. That every time Elijah came and appeared to them and wanted to instruct them, they saw Elijah as a colleague. I hear God too. Ha! Elijah kept watching them because he knew there was something you have to fellowship. Uh-uh. He's, he's not this thing we are doing together now I hope you know it's only revealing a dimension of the mystery a mystery is what you are receiving now this is not the mystery that was what they were exploiting they thought they knew how to him the Elijah was going to go it wasn't a needed information a man asked them do you know your master is going to be taken they were happy about it they said yes we know let's get going time like they had taught strategy already once he goes, Israel will have to do 21 days prophetic revival. They had their plans. It was well planned. But there was a man called Elijah. He wasn't in the school of the prophet. His job was to what? Serve. While he was serving, because that mystery, love, is a sacrifice. Are you following me at all now? 
I need the Holy Spirit to help me explain these things. I, I, I can't break it down so well. But while he was serving, <laughs> one day when the master was to be taken, he asked him, What do you want? But this young boy has intercourse with the mystery enough to understand that if I say, I want the prophetic man to, he will only get a mystery, a dimension of the mystery. Let double of what you represent come upon me. Do you know me? When the Bible will introduce me, just said I am Elijah the teach by it. Did he mention my father and mother's name? Like I don't have origin. Do you know what you're asking for? To prove it, I won't reply. He crossed Jordan, he crossed Gilgal. They kept going until they got to where he's going to take his flight. And he said, If you can see me, because it's a fellowship. Moses said, Sir, let me see you. How many months did Elijah use with Elijah? Or how many years? Was he up to the sons of the prophets in the school of the prophetic? And all of a sudden, a man too came, a representative, too. And this man held it. The result of the school of the prophet in his hands. And he was walking back and got to Jordan and smote it. And Jordan opened. Then they looked at him. The result they were praying together for, singing, Come, Holy Ghost, come, was found in the hand of a farmer that fellowship with the mystery. This farmer took this man too and turned it into a rod. All for Elijah's, Elijah's ministry on earth. He didn't use a man too. He used a rod. It took in Adibini was given a man too, and there was no fellowship. He would never know what to do more than Elijah told him. A man knew a mystery. A naive person without a dealing of God to be a prophet became the national prophet, instructing a school of prophets. He didn't even have their time. I, I, I now understood where well later when he came, he, he, he never for once gave them any lecture. See why guys I could not carry the man too. Because it's not just about man too. There is something that man, when a man stands before you and is talking, you will have thought if I just hold him or touch him, that was all. Uh -uh. There is a fellowship. He needs to show you. That's what you need to know. Not this thing. Not this thing. Look at the way we started from spiritual tribe. Is it making sense to you now? When the Lord gave me the whole itinerary for the year to teach, I understood the end result. If you don't become it, it was you. It wasn't God and it was never me. I told you. Open me to the mystery of the fellowship. It, it, see, let me tell you something. This is the only requirement there. Never be scared to be heard. That is where the result comes from. You know, people say the way you talk, you talk too heavy. You, I, I was made in Kevadulam. I didn't copy a man of God to become a man of God. I am too original. You can't find someone like me anywhere. I don't know what God did to me. All I know is open me to this fellowship of the mystery. I want to round up very soon, but I want us to go again for the second time. Open me up to the mystery of the fellowship. Lord, I want to bet ideas for you. I want to burn for you. Eh? I want to burn for you. Eh? Burn for you. Eh? Please fill me up. Fill me up. I want to burn for you. Eh? Oh, I want to burn for you. Sabara suba hasa balati bake teke 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 te. Skabaranda fala brahatana. You might be 16 years old, but when you fellowship with this mystery, you're for sure a glory that 16 years old don't carry. You might be 25 when you fellowship with this mystery. Your life reveals the dimension. Shakata bakata nakata. Branda sote na hata na hi. Sate kote ke balatai. Rana kone tanana. This is what makes your men give to the body. Bane shana hi. Hane shana hi. Tenone Kanai, Elone Balatia, Raneto Sinadea, Kenelo Sanabai, Kedahitai, Kedahitai, Bore Sananadea, Capon Teneno Sa, Radaga de Natana, Radaga de Natana, Kinalo Sananai. Sana de kabambo brande tu de tande sin 
the soul of the beat in Kopia Tena Igane Asande Sol Padarea Kanade I'm hearing the sound of, a, of, a, of like a trumpet in my head. Some of you will hear it. It's a call. It's a beacon. It's a beacon. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I'm ready to hear you. I'm ready to say your words. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, 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 there's a ram yonder, a ram yonder, this is the song of the Spirit, is the song of the Spirit, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, so many times, i Men are rising in their gate. Holy Ghost. It's not an impartation. It's a calling forth. If the spirit that is Jesus from the dead will quicken your mind. It's the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. In this realm there's no depression. In this realm there's no giving up. In this realm there's no sickness. In this 
realm there's no pain. In this realm, no competition. In this realm, no comparison. In this realm is the Holy Ghost. You and you and the Holy Ghost. It's the fellowship of the mystery. The fellowship of the mystery. It is the fellow. In an assembly, they are done. About a day, done. Abraham, the cross, got the party, come by. Kano, son, are Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I don't feel like stopping. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, am I going to be Am I going to be Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, come on, Saturday, be Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you must carry it, Holy Ghost, pray in the Spirit, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, up on the sun, I die, Shabbat Adeh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Hallelujah.